What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with uh, more Rumble Roses. So, this episode of Bonuses, we're just going to be taking a look at some interesting uh, trivia about the game, or just uh, and one extra bonus that we haven't taken a look at. So, uh, first thing I'll go off and say is about the, uh, the opening of the game. Yankee Rose, which for some reason is also used as Dixie's opening. I don't really know why. Now, I don't remember the artist who does this version for Rumble Roses. I'll put it on screen when I remember later. Uh, but this is actually a cover version. Originally, this song was performed by David Lee Roth. I'm guessing he's kind of a hair... Hair... Uh, like, the glam rock age kind of guy. I hadn't really heard of him until I went researching for this song. It's very much the obvious, so like, Oh, boys, check it out! It's totally, uh, like, scoping out, like, this hot, attractive girl, kind of catcalling, going, Oh, yeah, she's beautiful! Sort of way like that. It it's very misogynistic, obviously. And that is the intent of the song. Now, the irony in parallel to that is the Rumble Roses variation of Yankee Rose, which is performed by a female artist. In this case, it almost sounds like an overconfident, very powerful woman, almost describing herself as like, yeah, I know I'm good like this. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. You think I'm good. You know I'm good. It's kind of interesting the two flip flop between those two, or uh, the two flip flop in correlation between those two. Anyways, uh, that's it and done. Let's take a look at one last thing. Now, an interesting thing, which I think is still present in this version. Uh, I say this version. Uh, if it's not, I'll go over it in the other version. Anyways, uh, you can trade the openings for the characters. So let's say I don't have a lot open here for options, but. Uh, uh, let's... Oh, this ought to be interesting. Alright, so, we'll have Anesthesia. Lady X. Alright, and when you're on this system, hold L1, L2, R1, and R2. And press play. You'll notice the anesthesia pictures in the back while plating Lady X's opening. This allows you to switch the openings of characters. And they act exactly how the other ones act. Sometimes it's a little weird, like if you have someone take over Candy Cane's uh, thing, she'll have the guitar, she'll act all rough and tough. It's kind of really weird sometimes. But yeah, as we can totally see, Anesthesia just gets out of the car. The Dark Nightingale Anesthesia. Since there's not much else to hers, we'll take a look at hers with Lady X. Since that'll... Uh... <laughs> hey, Lady X, do you know that that, uh... You know that thermometer's crammed in your nose, right? Yeah, that's not where you pulled that from. That also looks even weirder. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Some of the stuff just doesn't work right with the character swap, but it is interesting. Just looks like she crammed it into her chest. Oh, this, uh, oh, at least the, uh, at least the, uh, I forget what those things are called. At least that works properly on her. Lady X. Probably the most emoting Lady X has ever done.
Now, the last thing real quick is uh, actually in match, so let's see. Two things, actually, if I can get this right. So, first of all, when you have the game paused, you can hit select and just get rid of the uh, get rid of the fucking interface. I don't know why that's, why that, I, well, I know why that's a feature, but it's really weird being dead silent, though. And if I can remember any of Anesthesia's moves, here we go, this one might, nope, that's a grab. I mean, technically they're all grabs, but it was not the grab I was going for. Come here. This one might be. Yeah, here we go. So, during submissions, you can actually move the camera around using the right stick. Uh, in the Japanese version, they actually encourage you to do that because they literally have it on the screen telling you you can move the camera. English version? I don't know why they don't. But yeah, that's interesting. Now let's take a look at the last thing. The last thing is gallery mode, where you can take a look at all your characters, uh, where you can basically oogle the character and read their profile. I guess it's okay. The only problem with this is, to get this, you have to have them earn the title, which basically just ha means having them hold, uh, beat the previous holder in a title battle, I think. Pretty sure that's all that means. Which isn't too hard, but you have to do that with every single character. And as I will describe later in the next bonus episode, that's a little bit harder to do with the American version than the Japanese version. But there's also one bonus. Just let the game sit for a second. And awkwardly stare at the girl as she stretches. And not try to feel like a pervert. Ice cream. I'm addicted to it right now, and found a great place next to my school. That would be red. It just psychs me up. Hmm. 34, 26, 33. At least, that's what they were a month ago. I like smart guys. You know, the kind who wear glasses and act shy, but are sweet, deep down inside. My sister. I wonder where she is. Yokohama, born and raised. I'm a Yokohama girl, through and through. Nutrition. I eat like crazy after matches. As a wrestler, I really need to gain some more weight. But I wish I didn't have to. All I do is train for matches and work at a part-time job. I also moonlight as a race queen. I'm not- I'm gonna ignore the part where it said I'm moonlighting as a race queen, but she clearly said- <laughs> but her- but she clearly said, I also moonlight as a race queen. Anyways, yes, all the characters have these little interview type things. I'm not going to go through all of them because it's not worth my time to go unlock them all. I don't have that much dedication to this game, but I thought I'd point it out. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, I get to talk to you about how the, the English version got shafted when we take a look at the Japanese version of Rumble Roses. See you then.